we're back easy. Everything is on the table. The veg is all ready to go. And we're using Mexican blend cheese. Um, the taco blend to be specific. Because this is tacos. Um, <laughs> and then of course we have the sour cream over here. Not everybody likes sour cream on their tacos. I know my camera person doesn't, but that's fine with me. Everybody's different, but everybody loves good food. Okay, so this is how you put this together. And you can have it on this side, or you can have it on this side, but I actually prefer to have it where there's more crevasses to catch the flavor right on here. Right? So it's like take a couple of good scoops of this right on there. And there's different ways that you can do your toppings for this. And uh, this is the way I learned. And uh, then add your cheese. Because that's important. If you can't have dairy cheese, which I shouldn't be eating, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, oh, doesn't this smell great? This smells great. Okay. It does. Oh my gosh, it smells wonderful in here. And add in your lettuce. If you don't like onion, you don't have to add onion. But to me, adding the onion in there, it's kind of like making your own salsa verde. I could have grabbed jalapeno for this, but there's some taco seasoning in the cheese. I always wash my hands, people. I just like cleaned up the kitchen and washed my hands. Now I'll have the camera person come right over here to his plate. This is his plate. He's not a sour cream person. But tell me that that does not look delicious. Tell me that does not look delicious. So we're going to pause. I'm going to take the camera and then we're going to see if he gives a thumbs up. I'm not putting the camera on his face. Only his hand. To see if we get a thumbs up as soon as we come right back. And now that our camera guy is gonna take a bite of this, uh, don't worry, you're not, you're not gonna get in the way. But I'm at this angle looking, <laughs> and he noticed something that um, this seems to be cut in pieces. So I will be loading this. He has to get a fork. He has this thing, right, about touching the food. I'm not mad at that. They would have offered you that at the um, powwow anyway. They would have offered you that option. So I'm only zoomed on the plate. I'm not zoomed on him. You have at that. And you tell me how you like it. He'll, he'll give a thumbs up if he likes. I've only got this on your hands and the plate. So. Zoom out a little on his hand. So how is it? There, there goes the second bite. Okay, we're getting a double thumbs up. So. I'm going to hand this back to him, so hold on. Okay, and you can all try this. This is actually a pretty healthy dish. It's like eating a salad with your refried beans, your beans, protein, the bison. Now, bison meat is a different protein than eating your um, standard beef, which I can't have ground beef. That's why I replaced it with bison. But you can also replace with ground turkey or ground chicken, and I don't like ground turkey. Ground chicken I use for meatloaf. But bison, I would suggest for this. So, 
try it, let me know what you think. Use whatever ground meat you want. You don't necessarily have to use what I use, but that was my choice for the day. And what I want everybody to do is remember, we are all one human race that lives on one planet and we eat foods that are awesome every day. So I want everybody out there to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I'm going to eat some of this because this smells real good. And I will see all of you later.